You didn't record any of that, did you? <laughs> I did, actually. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Favorite part of the day is in the morning, early morning. We like it. Things are quiet in the morning. Yeah. I guess that's the best part of my day, first thing in the morning. Concord's a very small town. Um, Good people, enjoyable. We, we're located right on the main thoroughway through Route Two that goes to Maine. Um, not not a lot of people in Concord. Uh, two restaurants, uh, zero gas stations. It's just a small town. You want to go up on the top? You sure? Yeah. I love the wood. The log yard we own, which is uh, roughly 50 acres, was bought uh, several years ago when I uh, cut wood for a living. Um, and uh, well, I bought it to cut the wood and later turned it into a log yard where I bought and sold lumber. I don't know, I, I enjoy the woods, so I think uh, just walking through the woods with the animals and stuff that they at the log yard, the 50 acres is enjoyable, and uh, we are lost. <laughs> we are lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the campground uh, is actually something we we uh, bought. We stopped. And they were having the people, the older people that owned it, were having a uh, yard sale. We stopped in uh, to look at a three-wheel golf cart that they had and get to talking to the people, and we ended up buying the campground. So, um, and we've been there now 20, 28 years. Uh, a small campground, but it's enjoyable. The people are, it's enjoyable to meet people from different parts of the country and they're usually always in in a good mood and having fun. Well, I think my father was the most influential in my life. He's my father taught industrial arts, building trades, and and uh, he pretty much taught me every day. I was learning. He always said, uh, "You're not gonna." learn by talking, you learn by listening, which was hard for me. Uh, but he did teach me most everything I know about doing little jobs, a jack of all, master of none type of thing. I used to really enjoy when he took me flying, actually taught me how to fly, uh, hunting and fishing. And, and uh, I enjoyed, you know, what he had to, to teach. When he would, you know, he would, was always there to help, so. What else? Uh, for some, a race to car was uh, coming around the uh, fourth turn to go down the uh, front stretch of the track, which looked wide open to me, uh, but somebody hit me in the rear and spun me out, and I hit the wall head on. And that was the end of that day. Didn't end up well for myself, the car, or the wall. What about my shoes? I have one type of shoe, a sneaker. I also have work boots, which I don't wear that often because I'm not normally working hard enough to wear them. <laughs> what, what kind of question is that? My shoes look like sneakers. They're white sneakers, most often dirty. My shoes, I, put, I wear them when they're clean. I'll wear them in the kitchen. When they start to get dirty, I'll start to wear them outside to work. And if I do a real dirty job outside, like when they get real bad, then they go down another tier. So I have several pair of the same sneaker and they're different, uh, 
you know, some of them are beat up worse than others. I get new sneakers probably every two, three weeks, four weeks. Why do I have my shoes? So that you don't steal them. <laughs> this has been a pleasure. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>